Hey everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I'm so excited to share today's card. Stamp Timber is officially here and today's card features the Lawn Fawn exclusive set for 2022. This is the sledding by set. It's got critters on sleds and we're gonna create a fun full scene. So we'll start here by stamping our images. I'm gonna stamp some extra trees and some extra little snow splat images there so we'll go ahead and stamp those out and while I let the ink dry a little bit we're going to work on the background. There's a stamp on this set with some snow and snowflakes so I'm going to go ahead and put that on an acrylic block. Then I'll prep a white panel with some anti-static powder tool. Then I'm going to stamp these snowflakes all over the panel using Versamark ink. Now to make the pattern not look similar all the way across the panel, I'm flipping and turning my stamped image and stamping it offset as I go so that I can make sure that the pattern is not the same all the way through. Now I'm gonna add some embossing powder. You can use clear or white. I always go for white. I know Laura Basson likes to use clear and both work equally as well. So once that's heat set, I'm gonna go ahead and ink blend the background with some Distress Oxide. This is Uncharted Mariner. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite dark blue colors to use. I love that it has a bit of teal in it, so I can ink blend it with colors like Peacock Feathers, which I'm using now. And then I'll finish up the very bottom with Cracks Pistachio. I'll work back and forth to make sure that the ink colors blend together well. Oftentimes I don't actually add more ink, I just use the residual ink on the brush to blend the colors together. I've trimmed down the panel, cut about a quarter inch off each side, and now to add some texture I'm using some Nuvo gloss drops in white, and I'm just using little swirly actions so that I can get a soft and smooth round texture on all of those circles. So I'll set that aside while I'm coloring my images with Copic markers so that can dry and it's gonna add really great texture to your panel when it's done. So I have all of my stamped images here and I'm just gonna speed through the coloring process. It's kind of similar for all of it. I added a bit of light blue to the snow tops of the trees. And for the trees, I generally add dark colors first and then work to light, but on these trees, I really wanted these flicks for the pines to stand out more. So I don't want a lot of blending on it. That's why I'm going backwards from what I normally do in coloring. I added the light green first, then the medium green, then the dark green, and I stopped there. So that creates really great texture on the trees and doesn't require any blending at all. Next, I'll work on my critters and their sleds. So I'll color them as colorful as I can. I know critters are lots of browns and stuff, but I'm gonna use different color browns to give them a little bit more differentiation between the different critters. And if you want a full list of all the Copic markers that I use, be sure to check out my blog. Everything will be listed for your convenience, as well as all the other supplies that I used. So when I'm done coloring, I'll go ahead and die cut the images. These Stamp Timber products are sold with or without dies, and I just happen to have the dies for this, and I was absolutely thrilled to be able to use it. So I die cut all of my images and got ready to set up my scene. As you can see here, the glossy white enamel dots are now dry on the panel, and everything looks great. I'm gonna use some hillside dies, these are the stitched hillside border dies from Lawn Fawn. So I've already die cut two hillsides and I used residual ink on my ink blending tool and just ink blended the top of the hillsides to add some color. I trimmed off the excess and now I'm just gonna attach that further back or taller hillside to my card directly. And then for the shorter hillside, I'm gonna attach it with some foam adhesive to give my card some dimension for those sledding critters so it doesn't look like they're gonna crash into each other as they're sledding down these hillsides. I'm using the Sparkle Glaze Pen now. It's kind of like glossy accents with a little bit of glitter in it. And I'm just adding a line at the top of the hillsides. And then you can do this part with a brush. I don't have a brush designated for things like this. So I'm just using my fingers to kind of smear that uh, glitter glaze down and just get it to smooth into the cardstock. And I'm just using my fingers and then I can wash it. Now that our background is done, we can go ahead and create our scene. I'm gonna start with the image in the back. It is the largest, so I wanna make sure there's plenty of room for it and also allow space for that fox sledding down the other slope as well. Once I adhere my fox down, I can go ahead and fill my entire scene with the rest of the images that I stamped and colored. 
I'm going to call these little images snow splats and I think they're so much fun. They create more movement and action to your cards. So when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and work on my sentiment. I'm going to prepare some black cardstock here so that I can stamp the happy winter sentiment that I chose and then I'll heat set that. And then I've attached foam on the back side and I'm going to use my T ruler to make sure that that's lined up nice and straight. Then I'll attach this entire scene to a card base. At this point, everything is mostly done. You can stop here, but I decided to also add some white gel highlights. So I'm using my Sakura Jelly Roll pen to add some white gel highlights on the trees as well as on all of the critters. And then using that sparkle glaze pen again, I wanted to add some sparkle to all the snow. So I'm adding some of that to the trees as well as onto some of those snow splats. And then we have a finished card. It's got plenty of texture and lots of shine and shimmer. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to check out my blog again if you're interested in all of the details. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and I hope you'll enjoy all the Stamp Timber inspiration and projects that are coming your way. Bye everyone. Oh,